welcome or welcome back to Jen's Hangout if you're new here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, I love you guys so, so much. You know that. What is today? Should give it away. It's <laughs> Mask Monday. What? Anyway, so if you don't know what Mask Monday is, Mask Monday is... A big, huge, open collab where you put a, a face mask on, hair mask, hand mask, toes mask, you could do other masks. I don't recommend filming the other, because <laughs> they have them for every part of your body. It's crazy. Anywho, what are, and then you film it, you can do an unboxing, um, uh, I'm going to do a Project Pan update today. You could do a Q&A, whatever you want. Or you could just put it on and then come back when it's done and say, this is how it feels. It don't matter. And then you put hashtag Mask Monday Ladies and you'll be put into a big playlist. You can also add in Mask Monday Friends. Um, I'm going to do the Stella and Grace. It's like an energy drink for your eyes. Under eye masks. And then I'm going to do the Dermal Beet Collagen Mask, which is soothing, purifying, and hydrating. So, um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's it. That's all you got to do. Easy peasy. I love my so easy. So, I'm going to... Get these on my face. Oof, they're drippy everywhere. These always make a mess. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm all strapped in. I got my silicone mask on over my sheet mask because it kept moving around. Um, and it's drippy. <laughs> That's okay though. I like that. So, I, as promised, have done weights. I will have, I'm, I'm gonna, I have pictures. And I'll put the weights up and I'll put those up here. Um, I'm going to try, um, probably not until December, until the December update. Um, because I really want to see that contrast, right? Um, I'm gonna do from when I first started. Now we've changed a few products up, obviously. Because the point of project panning is to use them up. So, we're going to start off with, I added in the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation last, the beginning of last month. Um, because the other one was expired and was fungus melon. So this one, when I started, I could visibly see because it had settled. Um, it was here. Now, I believe it is about here. So, I've used a bit. But I did do the weight. And the weight on it, and this is including the bottle, so you'll have to, you know, the weight is up here. It's 3.765 ounces. So, and there's an ounce of product in here. So, that should tell you, brand new... That it probably, my guess is it weighs about four ounces. That's my, because of the bottle, the packaging, all that stuff. Then I did the AOA setting spray. As you can see, the blue line there is our progress for this time. Um, it is 1.4 ounces. And it says on the bottle it's 2.75 or 2.5 fluid ounces. So we're getting there. You know, I mean it's it's there. That's that's significant. And I, I don't mind that at all. I do want to we we emptied this. This is done. This is the glow recipe ultra fine face mist. I'm very sad. <laughs> I love this stuff. Um you were just outside. You don't need to go outside. No. No outside. Lay down. Go 
Good boy. So this is garbage now. Okay, and then on the perfume, perfume is 5.765, and there's eight fluid ounces, but there you go. This is, oh, I didn't put a new line. <laughs> I thought I did. I guess I did, and we need a Sharpie. I have one somewhere. There we go. Because... I could have sworn I had done one, but apparently not. But we're getting there, right? We are getting there. So there's the new line. Okay. This, I'm yeeting out <laughs> of the... I put Duraline in this. This is the Milani um, Eyebrow Pomade in 02 Natural Taupe. I love this stuff. I got way, 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 way down there. I mean, you can see it's, it's pretty, there's a lot of product in there. Anyway, but it's weird. It's getting chunky, even with the Durline in it, it's getting chunky and weird. So this is going to go yit away. So next is the mixed setting powder. I figured I'd show it to you this way. That way you can really like get a picture of how far down it is. When we started, I'm thinking it was like up to here. So there is 1.46 ounces. I could weigh this package because I have more of these and actually get the true weight. But anyway, that's what, oh yeah, oh, so drippy. Like it's squishing out the bottom. <laughs> This is a very dirty, moist, I hate that word, it is a very, um, wet mask. Okay, now maybe I won't drip so much. Okay, so the primer, here's the primer, there we go, we are doing very well on this, we are more than, right around halfway, 3.15 ounce, and it is 1.01 fluid ounces, so... Packaging, it's glass. Okay. Then we have the Melt Blush. I have, don't worry, there's some really exciting stuff coming in this project pan. We did very well this last month. Um, like, very well. Okay, so this is 1.425 ounces. And it is 0.14 ounce of product is what it comes with. But there is one heck of a dent in there. You can you can see it. But I love this. This is my cream blush. It's great. Okay. So then on the CoverGirl setting powder or the CoverGirl foundation powder, this is in this is a CoverGirl Clean Creamy Neutral 120. Um. There's 11 grams of product or 0.39 ounces. We are almost done. Almost done. And then on my Super Shock Highlighter, it is 0.91 ounces. And it's 0.15 ounces or 4.2 grams. One of them's huffing. But anyway, there you go. Eventually, this will be a repurchase because this is by far my favorite highlighter. I mean, by far. It doesn't give a weird cast, but it is very beautiful. So, and I'm a little snotty because we need rain. And one of my dogs is all snotty. But Ryan's been sick, so I've been watching him pretty close. Okay, so this is something that I am stupid excited about. As you guys know, this is the Alomar Hydrating Complexion Trio in Fair. Um, in Fair? Fair Light, yeah. But, okay, as you guys know, I have been long since 
had the high the under eye powder has been gone forever um but look oh <laughs> we have pan we have pan and we almost have pan on this one like you can see the lines it's not going to take much longer i'm so excited and this has oh 0.28 i think No, has eight grams and 29 ounces. No, it does not have to, it's gotta be 0 0.29 <laughs> or two eight ounces in there. And it weighs 2.615. Now on the blush, this is the Elmar Blush Trio in medium tan. I can also see pan lines on the peachy shade and this one. And those are the two that I use the most. But it's getting there. So exciting. Okay. And uh, we did the perfume. Now onto the tab of stiff. Okay. So we have on. I took the plug out of this. The stopper out of this quite a while ago and I mean there is not a lot of product in there but we're using her up and it is 1.12 ounces I don't I'm not even gonna try and then on the color corrector it is 1.19 this still has a lot in it um okay and then I have the makeup revolution concealer it has one point seven nine ounces and it is point three point thirty ounce fluid ounces i really can't talk is what it normally comes up with okay i'll be right back okay if you want a super hydrating mask i highly recommend getting this beet mask from dermal because woofy it's super moist but i ended up having to take my silicone mask off because it was just too much anyway so then I have the liquid bronzer I got from Timu this is 0 0.80 ounces and it does not say how many ounces is on here but it's not a lot <laughs> so there's that and then the Mali mascara I added and I also added the Essence Mascara because this is funky. Um, I have the final on this one. This is uh, 0.47 ounces. I mean, it's still got product in there, but she's not in this mail bag. So, it's getting needed as well. I do like the wand on it. And I like the formula. It wasn't bad. But, you know, I mean... Three months okay so this is 0.615 no 605 and it has 0 0.31 ounces in it so there we go with packaging curious to see what it'll be at the end this is the essence and it has 0 0.40 fluid ounces this is the curl and volume the lash princess i love this one um and it has go find it oh it's up here <laughs> that's why um it has 1.01 so a lot of that is packaging then we have the timu one um mascara that i use on my bottom lashes this has 0.835 so again it's getting there and next we have my lip liner. I will try and find. Anyway, there it is. Because she's almost gone. Like, she's almost gone. <laughs> there it is. That is in zero and three nude. Okay, the Boss Babe gloss is 0.43 ounces. And it is 0.2 fluid ounces. So this is in the shade hug. I love this 
lip combo. It's great for just a quick, easy look. Okay. Then we have the KVD liner is 0.21 and it has 0 0.019 fluid ounces. This is the brown. <sighs> okay, and then we have the Elizabeth Mott liner. As you can see, she's getting smaller. This is in the shade Pearl and it is 0.165 ounces. Uh, the Maybelline liner, this is a roll up liner. I didn't take a before and after of how tall it was and I really should have. Next year we'll be more with it, I promise. But she's still got a significant amount of product left significant amount of product left but i really like this one it's a really nice one um and this is i don't even know if you can get this anymore it's in moonlight pearl 840 but it's 0.15 my p louise base right i know this is getting um empty because it's a pain in the butt to get out 0.11 and it has, I don't know, 0 0.504 fluid ounces in it or 15 mils. So there's that. Then I have, I have this one somewhere. I don't know where it is. What did I do with it? Where, oh, where did it go? I not write it down I know I took a picture of it I will have the picture of it here uh, with and it has the weight in the picture so gosh I guess oh no I did it's 0 0.12 is what's left in here so and it's still decent so that's my project pan update I know that won't mean a lot until we get to the end of things um, I am Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm bringing in the Murad Hydrating Toner. That's where we're at right now. It's just at the bottom. The line is just at the bottom of that um, sticker there. So I, I will be using this toner as a part of the Project Pan. This is long since it's coming off. Oh, but it felt wonderful and hydrating. And oh my lord, right now I needed that. But anyway, so that's just my project pan. Oh no, the most important thing, because it's so exciting, right? My Artemis palette from Alter Ego. I have to show you guys this. I have prod I have it pan on one and almost on another. So I have long since hit pan on this one. You can see it's got quite a chunk. And then this one is just about... To hit pan also I'm so excited sorry I don't even know if I weighed that I don't think I did pretty sure I didn't because it would have been like oh my gosh how do you divide that the, all those colors but anyway so there's significant oh, I like that stuff even though Mirad is not that great. Um, I know a lot of people rave by it, about it, but it's really not that great of a product. But anyways, uh, it's got a lot of yuck ingredients. But what doesn't anymore? So that's the Project Pan update for uh, October, but products used in September. I know she's late. I'm sorry for that. But... We're on it. I finally got a scale, so we will be more organized, right? Okay, so have a great week. Blessings to all. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys later. Bye.